Hey everybody, my name is Weefies, and ignore the Steve skin, it's for a video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys three ways to, you know, restrain gravity blocks in Minecraft. Two of these methods require commands, and one of them is vanilla, well, uh, survival Minecraft. And they're all pretty good methods, and one of them is amazing. You cannot even tell how the blocks are floating. So guys, if you can see in front of me right now, there are three different, uh, anti three different sets of anti-gravity blocks, all restrained by some sort of invisible force. And if you do enjoy the video, then just take two seconds out of your time to like and subscribe. It would be really appreciated. It's just two seconds. Thank you so much. But anyway, if you did, we are going into method number one. And method number one is the only one here obtainable in survival. And you can see if we walk through it, that it is string. String is almost invisible when viewed from the side. And it is kind of visible when viewed from the bottom, which kind of sucks. And you can even see the collision box. However, string is a very survival friendly way to make gravity blocks float. The flower trick no longer works, and even if you cause a block update, it's not gonna fall or anything. This is an 100% working trick, and string can, you know, help you a lot. The second method cannot be walked through, and it is barriers. The only pro that I can think of here for barriers is that it's invisible. Like, unless you see the collision box, you're not gonna see it even from below. You're gonna be like, wow, how is this floating? And for map makers, this is crucial because you can make like cool blocks float. However, nothing is better than method number three. Regretfully, method number three is not survival, but you can see uh, we can walk through it. There's no collision box. Uh, how are they floating? Well, you can't even place blocks underneath it. That's because there is there is something holding the blocks up. But what is it? A bit of while, a while ago, I made a video called Eight Secret Features of Minecraft that you might have known not about, and I recommend you watch it because I did highlight some really interesting features of Minecraft. However, the last feature that I showcased was the Moving Piston. The Moving Piston is a block only obtainable through set blocks, so I can just show you. I'll set this block here, uh, slash set block, boom, negative one, so it's a block below me. Uh, sorry, oh my god. Boom, Moving underscore Piston. You cannot get this block, you can just place it, and you can see it's now right there. You can't see it, and but you can't place blocks on it. I'm right-clicking. Just believe me. You can't place blocks on it. And so it is there. And the only way to interact with it, I believe, is TNT. So if we just grab flint and steel, just a little history lesson about them. Well, I guess a little trivia about the moving piston. If we just place TNT and light it up just like that, you can see we've exploded a bunch of blocks. And this is where our moving piston was. And if we just go up, you can see that this area is now 100% filled so the moving piston actually blew up that is the only way to remove it without commands but regardless it does a great job of holding these blocks up all i did was take this and this and do slash fill moving piston and then you can place blocks on it to your heart's content and they will float this is a really nice way to do anti-gravity in minecraft and your friends will probably be baffled they'll have well no idea how you did this because it is a really cool feature of minecraft Moving pistons can be utilized for so much more, and I'm still doing, I'm trying to look for a way to make force fields, because it is possible. Anyway, guys, until then, thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already, then maybe leave a like and subscribe. It only takes two seconds, as I said previously, and it would mean a bunch. But, once again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.